How's everyone doing? Good. All right. So, like I said, you should have your cones set up in a line. You have five cones about a step away from each other. All right. And our starting point is going to be in the back always today, facing forward. So, what I want, first 90 seconds. Doesn't matter. You can start on the left or right side. You're going to run forward to the last cone, shuffle over once, back pedal, check my shoulder, shuffle around again. Go forward, all right? I'm gonna do this 90 seconds, nice easy pace, not too fast, not too slow. Don't get yourself too tired. Really important. Look at my feet real quick. When you're shuffling, never crisscross, always one step. All right, feet always together, shuffle over once. All right, are we ready? 90 seconds. Ready? Go. That's it. Always facing forward, shoulders are checked when going backwards. Good. Well done. Keep up. Yeah, make sure your knees are bent when you're shuffling. You're always on your toes. Always facing forward. All right, and I'm always moving. I'm not stopping. Changing my speed, changing my direction, but I'm always moving. That's it. Keep going, everyone. For 30 more seconds, we're gonna do the next thing. Okay, now you can speed it up a little bit. Good. So about 10 more seconds. Keep going, push yourself. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everyone. All right, let's go back to the beginning. Return to our starting point. Okay, now what we're gonna do, again, you can start either left or right side. It's really important that we have our five cones. If you don't, it's all right. But we're gonna use them as a marker. So you're gonna start to the side, a couple quick feet. Gonna go to the third cone and back pedal back to the beginning. And you're gonna go to the fourth cone, back pedal to the beginning, and then you're gonna sprint all the way to the last cone and back pedal to the beginning again, all right? So first cone to the third one, backwards to the fourth cone, backwards, and then sprint to the fifth cone and jog backwards, all right? If you don't have cones, it's gonna be three steps forward, three steps back. Then it's gonna be four steps forward, four steps back, and five steps forward, five big steps backwards, all right? Okay, we're gonna do this for 90 seconds. When I say go, when you hear me say go, we're gonna go 50%. When you hear me say go again, you're gonna go 75. When I say go again, you're gonna go 100%, all right? All right, let's start jogging in place, everyone. And go, 50% right now, everything. Good. And forward, and again, we're always checking our shoulder going backwards. A couple steps again, then you go again. Good. And explode out to the last one, good. And back pedal. All right, let's speed it up, 75% now. Ready, go. That's it. Shoulders always checked, pumping my hands on my toes. Good. Keep going, everyone. Got about another minute. Always facing forward, knees are bent, you're on your toes. Shoulders checked going backwards. Good job, good job, 30 seconds. Now let's go 100% everything, ready, go. Quick as you can. Number, don't have cones, three steps forward, three steps back, good. Put up. Good. Strong in place, 10 seconds, let's go. One more everyone, now one good one. As fast as you can. Good. Three, 
two, one, finish up all the way. Good. Okay. Now we're gonna start in the middle. Now we're gonna use our cones. It's gonna be two shuffles to the right, two shuffles to the left, two to the right, two to the left, two to the right. When I finish, I'll do the same thing but backwards, two to the left, two to the right, two to the left, two to the right, all right? Let's go one minute all together, ready? Go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm on my toes. And again, Boulders check, going backwards. Good, when you finish, you can take a quick break and go again. Good, keep it up. Break should be no more than five seconds. If I slow down, doesn't mean you slow down. Good. Well done. Let's go, two more good ones, everyone. Push yourself. Knees bent on your toes always. Good. One more good one, everyone. Push yourself. Excellent. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. Come back to the beginning. Facing forward. Remember, you're on your toes. Knees are bent. And I'm lifting my feet off the ground. I'm always lifting my feet off the ground. And I'm going to the next cone. It's one big hop. Keep your best, or if you need two feet, that's fine too, all right? But today, push yourself one foot from one cone to the other. Feet are next to each other when you're hopping over. All right? Ready? Go. Three hops over. One, two, three. Big hop to the next one. One, two, three. Want to challenge yourself, do it on one foot, it's fine. Hold it, and then go again. One, two, three, all right? Good. Keep work on our balance. All right, so we need to jump in soccer, yes. I know maybe we're not using headers yet, but we will. Especially, especially the older boys. Good. Really get your knees high as you can when you're doing this. As high as you can. As high as you can, all right? Good, you got about 30 seconds. As many as you can. As many good ones as you can. All right. Let's go. 15 seconds, almost done. Good. Good. Three, two, and one. All right, a couple more, and then we're going to get the soccer ball. Okay. Now we're going to use our cones again back here. Uh, you're going to start on the right side. You're going to start at the first cone, go to the second cone, around my second cone, backwards. Now I'm gonna to go to the third cone, shuffle around, backwards. Fourth cone, shuffle around, backwards. And the fifth cone, shuffle around, backwards, all right? So watch me again, I'm starting at the first cone, going to the second cone, around it, backwards. Back to the third cone. Then to the fourth cone, my feet are never crossing, they're shuffling around. Good. And then to the fifth cone. All right. Ready? 90 seconds, as many as you can. Knees bent, feet never cross. Ready? Go. That's it. Well done. 
Good. Remember, shoulder needs to be checked. I need to keep telling you this. Should know it by now. Keep it up, keep going. Right? And when make sure when you're going around, you explode to the next cone. And I go around, I can go slowly, shuffle around, explode to the next cone, and shuffle backwards. All right. When you're making a turn to go straight, explode out. First three, four steps are really quick. Awesome. One more minute. Keep it up. Always facing forward. Good. Number step. One, two, three, four, and I'm off. And I explode. And I go around. One, two, three, four. Then I start from the beginning. Good. All right. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, bring it back to the beginning. Give you 10 seconds, catch your breath. All right. Now, what's going to happen? We're going to try one footed hops. So let me demonstrate. I'm going to start on this cone here, the last one. On the right side, try to balance with your right foot on your toes. Just float to the next cone. Hold it. You can do the same thing with your left on your toes. Explode to the next cone and you hold it. Looks very simple, but look at the technique. I balance on my toes and I explode to the next cone. And I hold it, all right? All the way through. All right? I rotate right foot, left foot. Doesn't matter what side of the cones you use. If you don't have cones, you can just do one big jump. But you're starting here. Start with the right foot first, jump to the next cone, hold it. Same thing with the left. All right, all the way through. Ready? Go. Uh, as many good ones as you can. You don't have to race. Start going fast. Jump. Then you hold it. Move on to the next one. Jump. Then you hold it. All right, all the way through. And hold it. And jump and hold. And if I didn't say when you finish, I'm sorry, you can walk back and do it again. All right. Okay, keep going. Get about 30 seconds, as many good ones as you can. Remember, when you're doing it, you're on your toe and you explode up and forward. All right. 20 seconds. Good. Doesn't matter what side you start on. Stand on one foot, balance, jump to the next cone, and hold it, and you rotate. Good. Up. Keep your balance. Good. All right. Pause where you are. You have a one minute water break. Come back with your ball. Make sure we're back with a soccer ball. All right, we should be back. Okay, all I want right now, using both feet in and out of each cone. So if I'm going to the right, one, two with the right. Then I go to the left, one, two, one, two, one, two. And when I finish, I turn around and I do the same thing. One, two, one, two, outside of the foot. One, two, one, two, and I turn around. All right, two touches to the right, using outside, two touches to the left. Ready? Go. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Turn around. Do it again. One, two. One, two. Keep it up. Always controlling the ball, not too far. Good. 
Good. Speed it up. If it's easy, speed it up. Good technique. Outside of the foot always. One, two. One, two. One, two. I'm going to go slow so everybody can see. One, two. Okay. Let me turn around and go again. One, two. Good. Two. One, two. One, two. Doesn't matter what foot you start with. Make sure you're rotating. Left foot, right foot. Need a challenge? We speed it up, obviously. Good. Good. Couple more seconds. I'm always touching the ball. Body's behind it. And I turn around. Good. Outside or inside foot to turn. Doesn't matter. Good. About 10 more seconds. Good. Three, two, one. Pause right there. All right. Something we did similarly when we were running, we're gonna add a ball now. So we're gonna start at our first cone. In line with it. Uh, I prefer right foot right now. Right foot right now only. You're gonna dribble to the second cone. Stop the ball, pull it back. And you're gonna dribble to this third cone from the first cone. Stop it, pull it back. Toe taps while hopping. And you go to the fourth cone. Stop the ball, toe taps while hopping. And then we go push the ball again all the way to the fifth cone. Stop it, pull back to hop. We're going right foot only. If we can't do it, the, pull, the hops, you can just pull the ball back and take a step. Pull the ball back, take a step. Pull the ball back, take a step. Shoulders check. All right? At this point, we should all be able to hop with the ball. We're using the bottom of our foot where our toes are. Not the sole. Okay, we ready? Go. The second cone. Pull back. Third cone. Stop it. Pull back. Fourth cone. Stop it. Pull the ball back and all the way to the fifth cone. Quick as we can, stop it. Pull it back again. Good with one. Put a step in between if we're not ready to hop yet. Keep it up. Good job, everyone. I want to see some good speed. You explode out. You're here. You push the ball quickly, like you're in counterattack, you're dribbling quick, and you stop it. Doesn't matter what cone you're going to. Go into the first one, or the second one, you can do it too. Quick touch, stop. Pull the ball back. Quick touch into the next cone, pull the ball back. Good. Hold on, everyone. Got about 20 seconds, we'll do the other foot. Good. When we get back out, hopefully we got some good. Hopefully we've been working on our speed. Our touches are better. We've been doing all the homework I've been sending. Even I know I haven't sent anything, but you can still do stuff, right? I'll give you a lot of ideas. You can join other coaches' trainings as well. I want to see good improvement from everyone. All right. And pause there. Okay, let's go to the beginning. Again, doesn't matter what side. Same thing, left foot. Quick dribble, stop, hop, pull back to go. Quick dribble, stop, quick pull back to go. All right, all the way through. Ready? Go. Left foot. Dribble down, pull it, pull back to go back. And we explode a big touch. Here we go. Stop it, pull back. All right? Ball's always moving. Maybe I'm not hopping, but I'm still doing the same thing. All right? If I want to challenge, push to whatever cone. I'm at in with the hop. Good. Keep it up. About a minute left. Almost done for today. Got a few minutes left. Good. Good. All the way through. About 30 seconds. I don't know, maybe I'm at the third cone. 
start to pull the ball back. All right, for big push, touch, stop. Pulling the ball back. Good, hey, my older boys, we'll do it to hop. Shouldn't hear anybody doing it walking. Good, about 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Pause right there, good. All right, again, doesn't matter what cone, it doesn't matter what side, but we should be at the last cone. We're gonna dribble the ball from the first cone in line with the second cone. Roll the ball back. Opposite foot pull back. Then I go from the first cone, I'm using my left to the third cone. Roll it across my body. Opposite foot, pull back. I'm losing both feet. Stop here. Dribble to the fourth cone. My right foot. Roll across. Opposite foot, pull back. Okay. And last cone. I'm gonna dribble to the fifth cone. Good. Roll across my body. Opposite, pull back. I'm showing you if you can't do it with the hop. So let me explain again. Maybe it's a little confusing. What's gonna happen first is you're gonna dribble from the first cone to the second cone using your right foot. Roll it across. And you're gonna pull back. And you're gonna go to the third cone using your left foot. Roll across your body, pull back. All right, all the way through to the fifth cone. So if you're on the right side of the cones, you're using your right foot to dribble. If you end up on the left side, you use your left foot, all right? Try to follow along and it's a little confusing. Okay, are we ready? Go right foot first to the second cone. Ready? Go. Double down to the second cone. Roll across. Pull back. Stop the ball. And on the left side. I'm gonna dribble to the third cone using my left foot. Roll across my body. Pull back all the way back. Ended up on the right side. I dribble down with my right foot to the fourth cone, cross my body, pull backs on the way back. Okay, then fifth cone, I'm using my left foot. I'm dribbling down, pull across, pull it back, and look what side I end up again, on the right, all right? If you understand it, you can go fast. If not, follow along again. First cone to the second cone, right foot, Pull across your body, pull back, switching my feet in the beginning. Now we're gonna go to the third cone using our left foot, pull across my body, pull back on the way back. Ended up on the right side. First cone to the fourth, dribbling with my right foot, pulling across with my right foot, pull back with opposite foot. And I ended up on the left side again for the last one and I use my left foot. All right, cross, pull back. Every step I'm pulling back, all right? Let's try everybody to do it one more time on their own. Good. Keep it up, remember. And up on the left, you use your left. And up on the right side, you use your right. Got about 20 seconds, really push yourself. If you make a mistake, it's okay. Just make sure we're doing all the moves. Dribbling with the proper technique, ball across our body and good pullbacks, good. And freeze right there. Awesome job. And about five minutes left. Okay, what I want you to do, you're gonna start on the right side of the cone, so a little bit behind the first cone. You're going to dribble your ball using your right foot in line with the fifth cone. You're going to back pedal, leave the ball there, back pedal, go around, turn with the ball, use your right foot again, stop it, back pedal, and explode to the cone. To the ball, turn, I'm going right foot, leave it in line with the fifth cone, back pedal. Explode, turn with the outside of the right. All right, leave it, back pedal, turn. 
All right, so we're using our right foot only. When you're churning, you're using outside of your foot. Okay, ready? Go. Dribble down. Leave it. I pedal quick. Explode. Outside of the foot to churn. Go back to the beginning. Leave it. Back pedal. Float the ball. Churn with outside. And dribble down. Leave it in the back pedal. All right, you're always exploding here for the ball. You're using outside of the foot to hook it and turn to the direction you want to go. It's all right foot. Good, keep it up. 90 seconds, uh, 30 seconds. Good job, everyone. Remember to explode out when you're going for the ball. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, same thing. Move to the other side. And then use your left foot. So, dribble down to the fifth cone, leave it, back pedal, explode out, turn with outside of the foot, dribble down, leave it, back pedal, explode, outside of the foot to turn, all right, left foot. Ready? Go. Good. And dribble down. Leave it. Back pedal. You're always facing the soccer ball. And you explode from here. Right? Turn it outside. Dribble back. Get up. Well done. Again, these exercises we can be working at home to get better, so we'll hopefully get back out soon. I can tell who's working, who's not. All right, 10 seconds, push yourself. Last one. Good. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we've got about a minute left. Nice little cool down. I want to watch you guys juggle, all right? Any kind of juggling. Ready? Go, I'm watching. Let's see. Kaden looks good. Lucas and George, left foot looks good. Don't forget the right one. Well, hey, Gavin, good. Good job. Jaden, good job. Looks like you've been working. Sean looks like he's working. Good. 30 seconds and we're done. Keep it up. This is something you need to do every single day. You don't need a lot of space. You can get outside for two minutes, great. If you can get off for longer, even better. All right, you can stop right there, come to the camera. Hey, good job, everyone. Hopefully, we're going to get back out soon. I see you in person. All right, keep working. I'll see you Friday with the Coach Marcos. Nice job, everyone. Thank you.